Hey guys, welcome back to the Lavelli Kitchen. We have another awesome yogurt recipe to show you today. Some of our customers have been asking for a vanilla recipe, so our team have put together a vanilla bean yogurt using the Pure Plus Yogurt Maker. We're also going to be trying the new Lavelli La Thermometer, which you can now get online if you don't already have one. So let's get into it. We have heaps of different yogurt recipes already up on the Lavelli Life blog. I'll link that below if you wanna go and check that out. We also have some other yogurt recipe videos here on the YouTube channel, so make sure you check those out. The thing I really love about this yogurt maker is that I get to control what goes in it. I get to play with texture and the balance of sweetness and acidity, and I can also control the fermentation time and temperature. So the first thing we need to do before we start making any yogurt is to sterilize all of our equipment beforehand. So that's going to be our pot, our whisk, our yogurt jar, and any other tools or equipment that are gonna be coming into direct contact with our yogurt. We don't wanna be introducing any bad bacteria into our yogurt. We wanna keep the good stuff in and the bad stuff out, remembering that anything in here is going to grow and multiply. All right, so onto our vanilla bean yogurt. We're going to make one liter today, so I'm just going to start with a liter of full cream milk. And to make it really nice and creamy, we're gonna use milk powder today. So that's just one third of a cup. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a stir now. It won't all dissolve while it's cold, but it will as it starts to heat up. You can make up to two liters in the Pure Plus jar, just double your quantities, but you don't have to double the amount of probiotic. One sachet is still enough for two liters. So to get our vanilla flavor today, I'm going to use a real vanilla bean. These can be really expensive, so if you don't have one of these, a really good quality vanilla bean paste will do the trick. So to prepare a vanilla bean, all we need to do is split it right down the middle with a sharp knife and scrape all of those seeds out. To get the most flavor out of this vanilla bean, we're going to use the seeds and the pod straight into the milk to infuse while it heats up. Now we're just going to heat up our milk to 82 degrees Celsius, and this is a really important step if you want a really nice and thick, creamy yogurt. So once it's come up to 82 degrees, I'm going to hold it there for around 10 minutes, not being too precious about the exact temperature at that point. After about 10 minutes, I'm going to just take it off the heat and let it cool down to below 42 degrees before I start adding my sweetener and my probiotics. Now that it's come down to temperature, we can get ready to move on to the next steps. I've left the vanilla bean pod in there while it cools down so that we get the most out of that pod. Now we're ready to add our yogurt starter and our sweetener. Today I'm just going to use honey. These are just the Yogourmet brand of probiotic starter and you can get these on the Lavelli website. I'm just gonna mix that all in with about a quarter of a cup of honey. So now we're ready to get our milk and pour it straight into our sterilized glass jar. Pop the lid on close the lock and we can put it straight into the yogurt maker. Now all we have to do is fill our water bath up with cold water up to the tall line indicator on the back and then we're ready to set our time and temperature settings. We found that we get a really nice and sweet outcome when we set the time to 12 hours and the temperature at 38 degrees. Just remember that you get to control all of the variables in this process. So if you're looking for more probiotic activity, you might wanna bump up the fermentation time. Remembering that the longer the ferment, the more acidic and tangy the taste, a shorter ferment will give you a sweeter yogurt. So when that's all done, all you need to do is take it out, put it in the fridge for around six hours and it'll be really nice and set. So there we have it. You can see the vanilla bean specks all throughout there. We know exactly what's in there. It's gonna be super nice and creamy. So let's dig some out. So 
So that's it, an awesome vanilla bean yogurt recipe that you can make at home. If you liked this video, give it a like below and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more from Lavelli Life.